Hello. It's good to be back with you again today. After all these years, the Lord's just now releasing me to start putting out uh, videos on prophetic words the Lord's given me. And and uh, I've had, you know, in, in the last few years, quite a few things from the Lord that I see other people putting up some or part of what I've seen. So I just kind of, you know, put theirs back up on Facebook and don't say anything. But last night, the Lord told me to go ahead and sh start sharing what he's revealed to me. And so I'm back with you again today. And I've had several people say, please put out more. Uh, I wanted to come to you today with a scripture from the King James Bible. And uh, it's in the book of Luke 21, 20. And it says, and when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Um, there's several Old Testament scriptures that talk about the same thing, uh, about Israel being invaded, being separated and parted. I've got my little notebook with me today so I don't forget anything. Uh, but we know that we're living in the time of the end. And a lot of people believe that, you know, nothing bad's going to happen. But, you know, the Antichrist isn't just going to step in on good ground. He's going to step in when people are desperate. He's going to step in in a time that people want to hear peace and safety. They're tired of war. But before they can be tired of war, there has to be war. Now, we've never experienced it in the United States for quite some time. And so this is going to be a new experience for us. And a lot of people don't believe that Israel will ever be invaded or because there are scriptures and promises from the Lord about protecting Israel and keeping her. And she's the apple of his eye. And that's all true. But Jesus tells us in the New Testament that the armies would be compassed about Israel again and that the desolation would be nigh. Now, we do know that in around 70 AD, uh, Rome did compass Israel and took it and um, distributed the, the Jews in the great disp dispersation all over the world. But uh, there are other scriptures that lead us to understand that this is a future time and the time of Antichrist system being set up. And so I started with that scripture, and I'll also start with a, a word the Lord gave me. Um, I was on a 21-day fast some years ago, and the Lord revealed to me uh, the Antichrist system. I've seen it set up. I've seen how it's going to operate. Uh, I have seen um, who many are calling the false prophet or Antichrist. Um, and I can just tell you that the system is ready. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about a couple current events today. Because in the vision the Lord showed me, um, I asked him how I would know when these things were about to happen. And he told me, when you see Israel become an international city, Jerusalem, rather, become an international city, you'll know that Antichrist is at the door. So that's why I'm putting out these videos is because that is happening. The UN has uh, voted to separate and divide Israel as they had decided at her beginning, but God had protected her for 70 years. And so uh, I wanted to bring some current events to you today that really speak of the fact that Israel is being surrounded by, its, by the armies. They've always been surrounded by their Arab neighbors who there's always been conflict, missiles, fighting, all of that. But the Bible talks about the nations of the world. So today in the news, this today is... Um, is January, uh, gosh, what is today's date? I think it's the 12th, January 12th. So I looked at the news today to see what was happening because between now and Sunday and between now and the time of uh, the um, 
inauguration, if you will, of uh, Donald Trump. There's a lot of things that are going to happen. And so I wanted to share a couple of those things with you today. Um, in the news today, Israel had bombed a Syrian military post. Um, they had found a stash of weapons and I think I'll just read it to you from um, a newspaper in Israel who said that from the Israel spy satellite, they saw um, these weapons in Syria. Now, I've been on the border there. I've heard Syria. I've heard the bombs going off. And um, I have felt the earth shake under my feet when we were both in Galilee and in the Golan Heights area. Uh, it's real, folks. People are being killed and slaughtered. And uh, so I'm going to read this to you. The Israeli spy satellite finds advanced Russian missiles hidden in Syria. The Jerusalem Post said a number of these um, short-range missiles were found and a wide array of some of the most advanced missiles in its possession or in the possession of those who are giving those allotments of weapons to Syria. We won't go into names, but we kind of know who they are. They're cached in what was a secret strategic location. Um, however, it was a very strange rainstorm that moved into Syria as they were moving these weapons to these secret locations. And because of the rainstorms, and I have seen these very strange events happen in Israel many times, when God's not ready for something to happen, it's not going to happen. I've seen dust storms and things that just suddenly come up and stop something that the enemy was planning to do. So this strange uh, rainstorm came up yesterday while they were relocating these uh, strategic uh, things, uh, weapons of war, if you will. Some people say they're WMDs, um, mass destruction type things, weapons of mass destruction. But they were moving these to secret locations and um, when this storm came up, it stopped the transfer of these weapons and they were left in trucks. And this allowed the satellites to pick up their location and where they were. And then in behalf of that, I believe this had to do with what happened with Israel today as they bombed a particular place somewhere in Syria. And this is their third attack in the last few weeks into Syria. And so we can see things building up. That was one of the events that happened today, very important event. Also, uh, like I said, rockets hit this a major military airport from, is, from reportedly from Israel, uh, west of Damascus, triggering a fire. And the Syrian government warned Tel Aviv of repercussions. Now, why they said Tel Aviv is, is most interesting. This, um, this attack that Israel was supposed to have done, and I believe they probably did, because you can't allow weapons of mass destruction to be moved along your borders. But they said that the launch came somewhere near Tiberias. They called it Lake Tiberias. Uh, in the vicinity of the Meza military airport in Syria. Syria accused Israel of hiding terrorist groups fighting the Syrian government and proclaims it will continue its war on terrorism as if Israel was one of the terrorists it would seem to infer. Also today we read in Fox News that thousands of U.S. troops thousands, it says, crept up on the Russian doorstep Thursday. This would be yesterday now, 
uh, on my clock as I'm recording this. Rolling into Poland. And the first time in decades that that kind of movement by American troops in that area of the world had happened. Uh, Putin wasn't happy about this and he said, we perceive it as a threat. These actions threaten our, in, our interests and our security, especially as it concerns a third party buildup of its military near our borders. So we see and have seen for some time that there's a buildup in the Middle East surrounding Israel. It is my understanding that everything that's going on in Syria and the Middle East with all these various nations are going to turn on Israel. Once they've uh, eliminated those they don't want there or um, made their plans more settled and they have everything in place instead of fighting each other and ISIS and all these other intingent uh, gr groups that have come together in Syria to fight, I believe that they will then come against Israel and Israel will be attacked and Israel will be invaded. I'm a friend of Israel. I plan on hoping, I hope I'm planning on being a for, first responder when these things uh, cool down to help uh, the Israelis, the Arabs, those who are living peacefully right now in Israel to help them during this time after this occurs. But we know and we understand from reading the Bible that the Antichrist system must and will set up. There's no preventing it. There's no changing the Bible. The Bible declares that there'll be an Antichrist that will set up in the temple. Now, many people think that means the hearts of man. And of course, on one side of the scale, it does. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And the Antichrist will set up in many of the temples that are walking around. But there is a physical temple in Jerusalem. The Lord's revealed it to me, talked to me about it, given me much uh, information on the building of the third temple. I don't believe that the building will ever be completely completed before Antichrist sets up there. But all these things are in the works. Um, so we see that the buildup in the Middle East and the proposition of war is very real. But as I stated in my video last night, we, the United States of America, have helped to promote this vote at the United Nations and may even help head up the meeting that's going to happen in Paris on Sunday where they are planning on coming together and making final plans on what's going to do, what they're going to do and how they're going to do it in Israel. By the way, Israel will not be present for this meeting. And according to reports, neither will Abbas, the leader of the Palestinian uh, state. And isn't it strange, wouldn't it be strange if 70 nations came against America to decide where we were going to have boundaries and where other nations coming into this country were allowed to be or were not allowed to be and we weren't even there present at the meeting. No one likes someone else telling them where they can live, what they can do, how they can maneuver their government by an outside force. All these things are building up and we're moving into a new age. I may tell you on the next video what Jesus told me about the new age that's being ushered in and it's the time of the kingdom. And it's a time where God's people are gonna rise and take the kingdom by force. In the midst of the most horrific times that the world's ever seen, 
Jesus has a plan for his bride, the overcoming bride, the warrior bride. God bless you. I will try to put out some more videos as the Lord allows. I may be on a run and do them every day. I don't know. We'll see what God does. Like us if you uh, enjoyed today's video and share it with someone if you enjoyed today's video. We'll keep it coming. God bless you.